What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do another Vintage Cube Draft. Was tanking a tanking Arena Man unsure if I should nab the splicer? Looks like I was punished. Good games. Oh, dang it. I missed that. I mean, no, now I feel bad. Okay. So, we're going to jump in here. Uh, again, we have a couple steps into the queue. If we can, if we have one that will work when we join this, I will, I will, uh, I will use it. But I did want to show off these I just got in the mail. These are me undies. These are some sleep pants, super long. And um, they are Star Wars. They're actually extremely soft. I don't know if you guys can tell. But they're actually pretty awesome. <laughs> they're like Disco Ball uh, Death Stars on there. And you have Stormtroopers and you have uh, Scout Troopers. And uh, they're awesome. So definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore, and you will get 15% off these and any other Star Wars themed uh, MeUndies if you guys uh, are interested. I, I highly recommend them. These are actually very soft and very pleasant to touch right now. Extremely comfortable. Highly recommended. Definitely check those out. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can also find the link in the description below if you guys are watching on YouTube. Soft pants for your dangle. That is correct. That is correct. That is actually their official slogan. Me undies. Soft pants for your dangle. Seven out of eight. This is slow, all things considered. Considering this is the vintage cube. Uh, the reason this is probably slow is because all the MPL streamers are streaming arena. <laughs> so here was, a th here was something I was thinking of recently. And I'm not sure... Um, Not sure if it makes any sense. Yeah, I'll get, let me get back to you. Give me a second. Okay, so stipulations we have. Uh, wildfire or upheaval deck. I see neither, so I don't want to jump into that, assuming we'll hit it. Uh, Reanimator. I do like Scarab God. Maybe Makeshift Manicum is going to back. And all creatures must have toughness 4 or greater. Okay, so I'm going to take Scarab God because I think it's very, very strong. It's like surprisingly strong. Fast Bond, Speed Bond, James Bond, Scarab God. Got him. Uh, interesting, interesting. Okay. So, again, no real direction here. No reanimates, no upheaval slash uh, wildfire, and no, no thick boys even. This does make thick boys, though, so... I do like Ravenous Chupacabra. We can just be the standard deck, but... I think Preordain's probably better than Chupacabra. So, we're gonna take the Preordain. Yep. Uh, Basalt Monolith. Buried Alive. Could do Reanimator, actually. Scarab God and Buried Alive could could reanimate. I think we could still reanimate. Frantic Search also very, very good. Frantic Search also might not table, whereas Buried Alive will, and we can also just discard creatures to this. Artisan and Buried Alive might actually come back. Yeah, we'll take the Frantic Search here. I think that's actually pretty good. Ooh, Volcanic Island? That is a premier... That's a premier land. Also, Orzov Signet is super nice. And it lets us kick off uh, an Unbarrel Rights if that's one of our... If that's one of the things we get. I, I am also... I felt the same way. I'm like, oh my god, Signet's in the cube. Finale of Devastation actually is a reanimate spell. I don't like reanimate spells that cost like 7 to 10 mana. There is a burning of Zinni, but... <laughs> Chris, do you, want us to be, do you want us to do it now? We can do it. I mean, we do have Scarab God. Alright, we're taking it. We took it. And the Wildfire? <laughs> oh, Kretz, it's too late, buddy. We're all in. We are all in on the Wildfire burning of Zinni. That just happened. Also, Crucible of Worlds? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. 
It might just be go for the throat. I wish we took James Bond now. No, I, I, I still don't think I, I still don't think I did. Did do. It's probably just go for the throat. We can also just play like burning and then play a Tassiger afterwards. We do want we do want like uh, not mana creatures because they'll die, but we do want mana rocks. So we hope any of those signets come back. It's one of these two. I think it's actually Tassiger. I think it's less it's less uh, replaceable than than a, a single go for the throat. I like ancestral vision here. Wild plus crucifier. This is why I support nice. Wild plus crucifier. That's what I said. Wildfire plus crucible. Thank you, sake. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. We really appreciate it. Like, Rob literally keeps tagging me in these videos. <laughs> How do you keep finding these? Uh, Arid Mesa is probably pretty good. Oh, we're going to be, we're looking at Grixis. We'll take Arid Mesa. It's especially good with Crucible, so that seems fine. Hmm. Might as well take Kiki Jiki, I guess. Explosion expansion is probably just better, right? I don't even know, man. I'll take Kiki Jiki. We could be Splitter Twin. Windswept Heath? Mm, also pretty good. It's it's literally the two colors we are not, though, so... Maybe it's just Arcane Artisan? I don't know. Do we just Tangle Wire them? Ugh. Oh, what up, Shapubi? <laughs> it's, it's your boy. Andy, I'm super glad you guys are uh, heading to BlizzCon again. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely a compelling reason for me to try to go. Smokestack, Flame Tongue Kavu. I'm gonna take the Flame Tongue Kavu. Smokestack can can get out of here. What is the specific wording of the Kretz stip? A fun wildfire or upheaval deck? Upheaval and wildfires must be taken. Everything else is your choice. Okay, nice and easy. Well, we got two wildfires, so. I'm your spirit animal. I get it. I didn't want to say anything, but yeah, it's true. Also, Scarab God can just bring back Flame Tongue Kava, which is great. Young Pyromancer just dies, but we're not going to take anything else here, so. Thundermaw I like because it gets around these. So we can just go Thundermaw into Wildfire. This guy survives. Burn it all down. And if they have Baneslayer, we can kill it. No, that's not how that works. If you were mana, I'd tap that boy. Yes. Um, okay. I appreciate it. Shut up and take my money. Them's kind words. We get to have our cake and I like eating it. I also like eating it. So that's I guess we're in good I guess we're in good shape. How about Gilded Lotus when we're playing Wildfires and Upheavals? That seems pretty good. It's not as good as, say, like a Mox or a Black Lotus, but it's still pretty good. I think that's the pick here. Um, Bloodstained Mire. That is the exact land we want. Although I would like to see some shocks and duels that are in our colors. That would be nice. I am going to take this. Chandra is really nice too, though, because you can play it on four and then ramp into one of these guys. So if we play Chandra on four, on five, we can add two, use five of its play Gilded Lotus, tap three for the Lotus and the two from the Chandra, so it only gives you five. So we're going to be one shy of actually playing one of these. I like Chandra too. Bloodstain Wire is just so good, though. Especially with a Crucible of Worlds, though. I'm going to go with the Bloodstained Mire. I just think it's too good with Crucible. Rakdos Signet is also exactly what we're looking for here, so that's pretty gas. Also, keep in mind, none of the Signets from Pack 1 Wield. 
and they were all pretty obscure. Gruel Signet, that's gas. Vampiric Tutor, also pretty gassy. I think we just want the Signet here, though. Like, we're, we're, we're burning a Zinni here, guys. We're just going to Signet all day. Signet all day, Signet all night. Oh, we only have two black cards, too, so we can actually cut these or just play them off of, like, Gilded Lotus, Rakdos, Signet, Bloodstained Mire. I wish I played more magic. These cards are so confusing to me. Yeah, well, get wrecked. That's what you get. Oh, a godless shrine. Oh, strip mine. How, how badly do we hate it? What about avalanche riders here? That seems pretty good, right? Just go Tangle Wire and then Avalanche Riders, their their stupid land. And then Scarab God the Avalanche Riders. Oh, we have um <laughs> we have Crucible of Worlds. Let's take the strip mine. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Man, remember that time we almost took Avalanche Riders over uh, over the the card that's like literally perfect for us? I actually kind of like Light Up the Stage. I don't think it's great here. Stomping Ground is alright. I don't really think it's... I think it's probably Light Up the Stage here. I don't think we're going to be turning about... Really. Yeah, I actually... I did blank on the... Um, on the Avalanche Riders for a second. Um, yeah, I think it's just light up the stage. It's card draw. Like, I mean, it's it's cool. It's all good. I do like a Languish. I do like an Inferno Titan as well. This guy's probably like a four drop. Search for Ascanta is also real nice too. Hmm. Also, putting cards in our graveyard is great for Tassiger. It's great for uh, Scarab God. It's great for Crucible. Yeah, I'm just going to take the uh, the search for Azkanta here. Also, Deceiver Exarch. Yeah, nothing else in this pack is as good as having the Kiki Jiki combo, which we now have. None of these cards are great. It's a Raging Marine. That doesn't seem great. Let's take opposition here, I guess. Oh, the Chandra comes back? Insta. Snap take that bad boy. Why are they giving us all these green lands? These green lands are like Raging Green, Lumbering Falls. They're just giving us all the lands that are like attached to lands we don't want. Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Yeah, we're just taking the Sphinx in case something something happens. Exciting. We could actually play uh, Soulfire Grandmaster as well in case we're not black. Maybe we're maybe we're white, and if we get like Ancestral or Time Walk, this card's very good. That's insane. That was a nice little reward. Progenitis. 
Savannah, again, the two colors we are not. Factor Fiction is great. Anime Dead's pretty good. Spiral of Canal is all right. This is my least favorite land cycle, but um, I think it's still probably, I think it's still Spiral Elf Canal. Factor Fiction's very good. But we do have Search, we have Frantic Search. So we have Search, Search, Stage. Chandra is still kind of card advantage. I think it's actually, we just want some sort of fixing. And Wandering Fumarole. That also helps. Ultimate Price, Sacred Founds we don't really care about. Yeah, I'm just taking the Wandering Fumarole here. This is a third pick Ancestral Recall. Guys, I like a bribery too. That's a fourth pick bribery. Guys, listen. <laughs> listen. Bribery is top tier in this in this cube. I'm gonna take this Dark Slick Shores. Again, these are my least favorite lands because they come and play tapped after you know certain. Actually, Spellseeker is nice because it gets ancestral recall but i don't know if that's can we get a wow up in here wow i still just rather have fixing at this point i want to make sure we can cast our spells oh my god snapcaster when we are when we just picked up bribery and and ancestral recall yes excellent and then there's like the end of this pack where it's like, there's nothing in here. I mean, we can get Seeding Song and then be like, uh, be burning faster, but everything else is pretty bad here. I'll just take the Seeding Song, I guess. Time Warp. Also Compulsive Research and Rabble Master. And Earthling Cloudscape. You're welcome for those treats. What does that even mean? Are you passing to me? Are we drafting together? <laughs> oh, Team J Bros in our draft. That's hilarious. I think it's actually Time Warp here. I think it's better than Cloudscape, and I think we already have a bunch of compulsive research esque cards uh, like Frantic Search, Ancestral Recall, Ancestral Vision, etc., etc. I like Terminate. Sacred Foundry is kind of nice because it does let us play Grandmaster off of Arid Mesa and Bloodstained Mire, but it sucks that our Arid Mesa is basically dead. I'll take the Jace here, actually. Oh, Breeding Pool? Yeah, it doesn't do anything for us. I'll take Fire Blast. Frasca, huh? We could actually splash Hydroid Crassus off all our mana if we wanted to. Spellseeker and Vantage came back. That's interesting. I guess we're just playing Spellseeker. I guess. Um, do we even need the black? I feel like this deck is just really good as a non-black deck, right? We can cut this. Cut Terminate cut Tassiger, and then we actually have how do we win just like thunder my hellkite bribery and we could also just splash scarab god off of like one black source i, mean, I could see cut, cutting tangle wire i don't think tangle wire does what this deck wants to do I mean, I kind of just want the Air Mesa to get mountains. 
I wish we had some kind of dual land though. I wish we had like a a blood crypt or a volcanic island, which we did pass, I remember. We also have P and Kieran LR, Young Pyromancer, and Opposition in the sideboard, which is interesting. I mean, our deck seems pretty okay. Do we want Ancestral Vision with Ancestral Recall? I don't know. I might just rather have P and Kieran LR just to give us another creature. I watched the Vintage Key videos some four months ago and one of your opponents had to turn one Jace the Mind Sculptor and you still found a way to stay classy. Hats off to you. Appreciate it, my dude. I try. I do what I can. Sometimes it's hard. I think we can cut Ancestral Vision when we have a recall. I think I'd rather have things that are good. Check out the question from Zimini Pond. I'm actually interested in the answer. Uh, I have a question I hope you can answer. Is there a comic series that goes into Wolverine's origins early life as Logan, you know, before he was up next? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's actually called Wolverine Origins. And it's not the movie. Or it's called Logan. I don't think it's called Logan. It's called Wolverine Origin, not Origins. Origins will bring up the movie, but it's called Wolverine Origin. I'll see if I can link it in the chat. See if I can, uh, it's going to sort by oldest. Actually, this might not be what I'm thinking of. That's Origins. There you go. All right, I think this is it. Uh, I think this is our deck, right? Yeah, we can just play the Arid Mesa. Uh, one Swamp is fine. Five. Bloodstained Mire also can't get blue sources, which sucks. Five. Six, seven, eight blue sources. Five, six, seven, eight, nine Shut red up, sources. Both of these make red, so I'm going to cut one, add one. When it rains, it brings more of the <laughs> bag. <laughs> That's actually... That song is the best, dude. That was created by a guy named Dylan something. I can't think of his last name right now. But, oh, man, I listened to that, and I was like, this is so good. Dude. Bill, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. I'm going to keep this hand. This can get us a red source or a black source, but not both. Oh no, we're doing aggressive deck. I guess it's actually good for the deck with multiple wildfires. And a Jace Architect of Thought. Yeah, Paul Jenkins was in the Beatles. Uh, it was Paul Jenkins and uh, John Lemon. Oh, God, do we get this? Like, it's one of our... What's a spread source? I don't even know what that means. Thinking about selling out of MTGO because I never use it. Should I wait or will Modern Horizons hurt right now? I don't know what that... Uh, how do you mean? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure. I'm terrible with finances, to be quite honest.
I think we're cracking this for a red because we have no red and we just have to, even though our black sources are significantly more limited. Hey, you said limited and we're playing a draft. Okay. Fun fact about decks, they are bad. Decks in general? All decks? That's interesting. Okay, another blue source. That's solid. That is solid. Solid gone, man. We're going to do this. Next time we get to play this and this, and then we get to Ancestral Recall, that's pretty good. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think we're dying. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad news, Bears. Oh, God. If we block here, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. We could have played this and... Oh, actually, if we block here, we take one less, don't we? So maybe we survive. But I still don't know how we're going to survive after that. Also, if they kill this, we're just dead. Leroy Jenkins! I guess we're going to have to discard here. Let's discard. It might be a Lotus. The problem is we don't have a second red, so like... Next time we can play Lotus, maybe do something else. Maybe play a Tassiger and block. But like, we're going to one here, presumably. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I think it is Island. We're not going to need a third blue source. And we already have a, a, six, a fifth land, so... Oh god. Feels bad. Oh no. Oh no, don't block there. Block here. Go to a little one damage. Oh god. The one life rather, not low one damage. You're still playing more thing. Oh, crying out loud. You have like the absolute worst card. That's awesome. Wow, we're actually super close to just winning with Kiki Jiki, but we do need another turn, and we don't have it. All right. Hero of Bladehold, guys. That's a real card. We're bringing in Terminate now for sure. Got to get a red time warp, then a wildfire. Yeah, that's actually a, that's a strategy we could employ. Bring in the Terminate. Um, let's take out... Maybe light up the stage. Actually, I don't think we need the card advantage from light up the stage, and I don't think this is a deck that actually has a way to deal a lot of uh, damage. Yeah, seems fine. Ooh! I like it. I like it. So we're going to go turn two. Can we play this? Can you put the land into play? What's happening right now? Oh, our stream died. 723. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to call them tonight. Seven twenty-three. P. 
p.m. All right. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for... Uh... So next time we're going to go Signet, and then we're going to go Crucible, Strip Mine, play the Strip Mine, get a land back. We're back yet? Nobody knows. Yep, dropping a zero again. Super cool. Yep, stream is dying. Yep, I'm going to call them again tonight because this is un unbelievable. Like, it happens more frequently than I'd like to admit. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Welcome to the lock, lock, lock and roll, boys. Oh, they, they conceded based on Crucible of World Strip Mine. <laughs> A solid choice, my friend. A solid choice. I do not to blame you. Actually, maybe Bribery is bad in this mono white deck. Let's bring in PZ. Let's bring in the Pizzinator. This is also the good P and Karen LR too. Comcast actually does have a monopoly. Oh, it's actually not Comcast. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's Spectrum, not Comcast. Comcast is what I had when I was in Seattle, and they were shit at the time. They were also shit. So that's why I got my sh I got my shit internet providers confused. But I have Spectrum. Which has also not been impressive to me either, so... Suck it, Spectrum. More like Sucktrum, am I right? You should challenge Comcast to a fight. If you win, you get all their internets. I like to fight you! Give me your internets! I think that's a good deal. What does this hand do? I don't think anything, but... We also have lots of things, so it's hard to... Now we got now we now we doing things. Oh, that's cool. You just shut off my signet. You didn't shut off my recall though. <laughs> Do I even want to play that? We go up to 9 cards. We draw for the turn that's 10. We drop a card that's 9 again. We play a signet that's 8. Don't play another creature. Don't play a land and then play a creature. This is just terrible. Why are you like this? That is a yikes from me, dog. God, three mana for a signet? Get out of here. That's terrible. This is terrible. Thalia is really giving us a a headache. Let's get rid of Crucible. I think it's probably too cute here. You would play a two mana draw three discard one though. That is true. Oh, then they get to crew with the vampire and still get the swing. Three, four, five. We take seven here. Yeah, well, this deck is just too aggressive for us, and we're the style is really putting the, the crimp on us. Thalia, don't put the crimp on me. The problem is this smuggler's copter. And the problem is all of it. <laughs> Ah, 
How do we survive here? We could play Deceiver Exarch block. One, two, three. Untap our something to also uh, terminate. We could also just tap this down block here. But they wouldn't attack, obviously. Yeah, we could play Signet here. That's super obnoxious, dude. What'd they get? Sort of light and shadow. Fantastic. Like we have to kill this because if we plan on burning of Zinyi at any point. Oh, we can't actually even tap this, can we? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna terminate it. That's right. I mean, we're gonna take five here and go to. God, this this honor of the pure was just such a ridiculously good draw. Ideally, we draw land, land. Land, land puts us in decent shape. We drew block, block. We take four and die. We could Jace here. Yep, this one Thalia has been pretty miserable. Jace goes neg, 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 which means we take one, two, three, four. Still die because of Honor of the Pure, which is a... Completely cool magic card. Yep, and we can only cast one spell because of Thalia. Super cool. Both sides played hard. I'm actually going to take out the light of the stage. I don't think it's great here. Probably going to bring in something like Terminate just to have it. This hand's not terrible, depending on what our opponents have. Oh, that's better. I would like a signet here. Oh, they got a signet. We did not. Wow, that's rude. <laughs> Holy shit. Cool. Interesting. <sighs> 
Turn three Oblivion Stone when you have a Signet. Well, they didn't have anything to last turn, so we're probably just going to Deceiver Exarch tap down their Talarian Academy. I'll put a Fate Counter on my thing. Sure. Look at my Fate Counter. Ooh. Man, I wish I had Splinter Twin to just untap and Splinter Twin and see if they didn't have anything. Sometimes you want to vomit because of Tangle Wire. That's okay, just vomit away your life. Throw up because of tangle wire. Put it in the garbage can, that card's really frustrating. So you can tap down these two. And this, then add five mana. Legit. Oh, a blast zone. Look at my little blast zone. I'm going to add six mana. I'm going to tinker and so look at me. I'm going to tinker for a sundering titan and kill all your lands. I'm having a good time. Oh, boy. That was super cool. I had a good time. Did you guys have a good time? I had a good time there. I had a good time. Everybody's having a good time. People who draft land destruction or jerks were sitting here with burning, burning crucible strip mine combo. Mm, I don't know, man. This is a real people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones situation. The problem is our mana base is pretty bad, and so are our early plays. I, I don't know if this deck actually turned out as well as I would have liked it to, but... Actually, Seething Song might be a legitimate card to bring in here, because we do a lot of 5-drops. The problem is you <laughs> Cool. Fantastic. I'm really impressed that you're 0-1 right now. <laughs> I'm, like, really genuinely impressed. Get out of here. What's your deal, cat? Oh, Mine. Super cool, dude. Congrats on Mine and Wasteland. Uh, do I have any thoughts on Yuya Watanabe? Not Yuda Watanabe? Uh, possibly. Um, I mean, I think the call was correct. I think Wizards, uh, saw the... <laughs> this, look at this 01 deck. Look at this actual fucking amazing 01 deck. This is my, uh, Strip Mine Wasteland, Talarian Academy, Mox Jet, Double Signet, Mana Drain, Force of Will deck. Would you like to play against me? No, not really. Uh, I'd rather just not do that. I mean, I don't even know how to split this. Like, I guess we, the counter spells versus everything else. I have no idea. It's actually irrelevant. Uh. <laughs> they just kept two counter spells. 
<laughs> like you do. Come on, man. Get in, uh, get. I mean, you're you're welcome to Google what happened with Yu Yu Watanabe. Like, I mean, it's been it's been all over the Magic News recently, and um, basically, yep. Basically, he was caught with Mark sleeves at uh, at the most recent Pro Term slash Mythic Championship, and. Um, he was disqualified from the event and they investigated the situation and um they banned him for 30 months they stripped him of his hall of fame and they also removed him from the mpl Uh, how many years did Wananabe get away with the BS prior? Uh, we don't know, so I don't really like speculate, speculating on that kind of thing. Uh, I, I, I'm a big proponent of believing that A, people can change, and B, um, just because someone did something once doesn't mean they've done it for 50 years prior to that and that you just didn't know about it. I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's a positive way to view things. I mean, does it matter what we play here? Like, Jace just gets countered by Mana Drain. And then they go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then they go Sundering Titan and blow up all our boards. I mean, you're saying it's different in Japan, Japan though, Frank Lepore. Like, what, what does that mean, though? Like, what does that have to do? What's that, what's that a response to? Cause like, I don't feel like I said anything that contradicts that. Like, uh, yep. God, having mana drain and force of will in hand is just comical to me. Did you just play Gilded Lotus. <laughs> You doubt the first time he does it as you do it. Why? Like, why would you think that though? Like, there's no evidence for that. So it's just, it's just dangerous, shitty thinking. That's all. Like, just having your doubts based on z literal zero evidence that he's ever done it before is just shitty thinking. That's just wanting to crucify someone because they did something once that you don't like. It's just really dangerous. Well, now they don't have the mana up. We have no way to kill this guy. Hmm. hmm. I don't know what to do. Oh, I think he was for sure guilty of what they committed him of. I'm saying that it's hard. Like, I don't think it's healthy or positive um, to speculate on him doing it previously. Like, I don't think we ever... Well, we won't know, so there's no reason to, like... I don't think there's anything that's great here for us, I'll be honest. Just wildfire. That's what we came here for. One, two, three, four. Then we have two lands, and they have, they just sack all these to play. Um, 
Sundering Titan next turn, and then we just die because they end up killing our lands. That seems bad. Uh, wildfire does not kill the creature. This is a 3-5 Wildfire dose 4. Chad, I have not done it, but it is in the queue, and I've been mentioning it all day today. I've kept mentioning how I want to find a specific... I mean, I don't want to, like, just jump into the... Yep. Exiled Inkwell Leviathan. I don't want to just jump into a, a, a draft and be like, all right, we're doing this stipulation, and then not get the pieces for it. I'd rather make sure we get the pieces for it, so... But I think we're dead here. They're just going to get Sundering Titan and kill two of our lands. Probably play an artifact first, because why not? Memory Jar? Wow. And they got, look at that, and they got their mana drain up. This deck is unbelievable. How are you 0-1? I don't understand. Yep, you got it. Get that Sundering Titan. Oh, look, you did. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm back from getting cards still going. Where'd you get cards from? Did you drive to Star City Games or cool stuff? Well, let's get a red source here. Yes, count on my Jace. Oh no, not a bad drain. Oh, biscuits. You got it. Man, look at this sweet memory jar of cards that we have that we're just going to have to put in the trash can. Oh, look at your little Karn. I played this for free with your Jace mana. Yeah, we just have no way to deal with this. I'm still going with the reason that this dude is Owen because he fell asleep and timed out round one. Yeah, same. Oh, ancestral vision with the spell seeker. So that's not that's that's probably why they're that's probably why because they don't have they couldn't get their mana drain with their spell seeker and uh, they don't have ancestral or time walk. So I guess that's probably the reason. Unless they're gonna go time walk here. Nope, just. Uh, Discard everything. On the bright side, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 if they make another guy, 12 if they make another artifact. So that's cool. This does. We have actually no way to kill this, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, God. I always think Spellseeker's a 1 2. Yeah, that's what I think. I think if, if you're playing in the casual queues uh, with a tier one deck, it's because you're learning the deck. That would be my that would, that was my guess as well. I guess we just kill this, right? We take seven, eight, nine, ten. What could go wrong? What's the worst that could happen, guys? In before counter spell, 
Just counter it. Just let, just don't even let me. Just don't even let me do anything. Are you gonna bounce it? <laughs> Dismember. Sure, dude. Oh man, you got it. Enjoy the one-one bracket. Our deck is not. Uh, our deck is not doing as well as we would have liked it to do. Odds of counterspell being in modern horizons. I think counterspell is pretty low. I think force of will is a little bit higher. Uh, Force is not on the reserve list. That's why it's been reprinted like four times. Uh, I'm actually pretty sure the Biobox promo is a different card that, uh... I, uh... I don't want to say, but uh, I definitely don't think Force of Will will bust the format. I think I think Modern is the exact format you want Force of Will because you have a lot of uh, Modern is a faster, more combo-oriented deck than Legacy, and it has no such card like Force of Will to keep the combo decks in check. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. This is great. I did actually kind of get some inside info, but I don't want to say anything about it. Eh, we can bottom both of these. We have four lands in hand. <laughs> nice. We talk about the Neoform deck? No, no one's talking about the Neoform deck. Get out of here, you degenerate. Degenerate. Oh, spoilers start Monday? Man, I remember the days when I used to get spoiler cards. Back in my day. I hope they play... Are they playing nothing? Oh, they missed the land drop. Oh, they're just going to discard and then reanimate? <laughs> wow, Ravages of War when you miss your land drop. Oh, boy. Oof. Brutal. Why can't Flametung Kavu kill Jace Bellerin? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. Well, we do get to Thunder My Hellkite it, so. And then next turn we could Wildfire. That's probably going to be game if we do that. They go Fourth Land, they go Planeswalker, like Elspeth. We go Wildfire. Oh, buddy boy. Listen to me. Flamton Kava just kills this guy, right? That's pretty good. Buddy, listen, you just gave my Flamton Kavu a reason to live. We could go attack, time warp, attack, Flamton Kavu. I really okay so on one hand I want a wildfire because I don't want them to untap with seven mana on the other hand I want a flame tongue because we probably can't flame tongue after the fact and we are losing this race I think we actually have to flame tongue we could actually time warp and then wildfire 
and then we're winning the race. But we can also do that next turn. Time Warp into Lava Axe is subpar for sure, but it does let us win the race. Like, put them to 10, and then, like, they put us to 9, we put them to 5, they put us to 3, and then we kill them. So, like, it, it puts us in a position to win the race, which is significantly more than just Lava Axing them. Oh, that's unfortunate. What did you... Oh, you, you tapped this guy? Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Attack that tomato. Could we have gone four, eleven, and then nine? No, that wouldn't have killed them. I guess we could have time warped play Snapcaster for no value. And then killed them. I guess we can still do that with Time Warp Snapcaster, right? Like if they don't have like Counter Spell. All right, let's see if that just works. Snap it up and snap it out. Okay, that just works. All right, double double time warp. Sometimes you don't get time walk, but sometimes time warp does the just just about enough. Yeah, I'm just going to submit like this. I think our deck is it's all right. <laughs> it's missing some key components like a lot more fixing Well, we don't have a blue mana, but if we do, boy, that just pops us right into this game, doesn't it? Oh, also we need a second land. But once we hit those two things, Wandering Femoral off the top. That's a Chandra. Boy, one underground sea here. I'll even take a Watery Grave. I was gonna crack it and be like oh we can play this oh we can't do that <laughs> that's unfortunate let's just pass the turn uh, let's get rid of Tasker for now God, how are you gonna miss a land drop you gonna let us both draw no that's rude yep this is how we do it, guys. This is how we do it. Should have kept the Tassiger. I don't want to discard the Wildfire because I think it gives a lot of information away.
<laughs> wow, that's like the rudest thing you could have done. We have six, and you took advantage of that. That's messed up, man. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done. 12 cards, one land. Seems good. Let's try it again. I'm hoping they have enough good creatures for this bribery, but also Terminate can probably come out. That seems pretty bad. Let's try Seething Song. Let's see if that does anything for us. Turn three Gilded Lotus. Snapples. Snapples McKeeples. This is a uh, Ancestral Recall, in case you guys didn't know. Come on, we can 1-2. I don't think I want this. I think I do want this Chandra. Twelve cards, one land? I don't think that is like that. I, I think they're significantly different, but I can see why you'd go oh, crying out loud. Here's turn one Jason the Mind Sculptor again. Are we doing it? No, three Elspeth. Turn one for me and Elspeth. That's a good one. Hero of Blade Hold. Oh my god. To be fair, if we hit that seething song, we can Chandra. Kill this hero. Oh, what up, Leovold? That ain't it. It just feels bad, man. block huh yeah going to four buddy what's what are you gonna do about that kill me sounds good <sighs> oh three with this deck unfortunate oh three was not was not where we wanted to be even though we did get the double upheavals i don't think we had enough mana rocks i don't think our fixing was good enough all in all not the best deck thank you guys so much for watching crutz jr still appreciate it uh i'm so sorry that it didn't go as well as planned if i find another upheaval uh, or wildfire shell that I'll, I'll see if i can do it again but uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. You can also check me out at manatraders.com. Links are all in the description below. And with the Mana Traders, use the promo code and the link to get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. Uh, they, they rent physical paper cards and they also rent a digital Magic Online card. So definitely check them out. You can also go to coolstuffinc.com and uh, my article went up today about Ilharg the Raised Boar, so definitely check that out. Leave me a comment in the article and use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons.